so let's start uh, to solve this problem and to figure out the value of pb minus pa so uh, starting from position pb pressure at b is pb and once you are moving from b to d a gauge difference of 250 uh, millimeter height of hg uh, for water is happening over there as we are moving downwards so pressure gauge will increase and thus that can be written as 0.25 multiplied by the specific weight of the water and then we are moving from location d to c what you can see over there there is an inclined uh, tube is over there and if we draw a horizontal line from location d this will intersect the inclined tube at this location so both things are at the same level so you need not to consider uh, this uh, this length for the consideration of change in the gauge pressure now we uh, now we are uh, let's let's take this point d dash so we have to find out the difference in the elevation from point d dash to c however uh, difference uh, length along the uh, this c to d dash is not given however the values which are given additionally that are sufficient to find out the difference in the elevation of point c and d dash so if you look at the figure the difference between the b and d is 250 and difference between a to c is 100 so you can see that a to c elevation level a to c then elevation level c to d sum up is equal to the uh, sum up of bd so so we can write that the uh, elevation difference between the b to d that is equal to the elevation difference between a to c plus elevation difference c to d dash so c to dash d dash can be find out that is 250 minus 100 that is 150 mm now let's uh, come back to the problem so uh, now uh, you have reached to the location d dash and now once you are moving from d dash to c you can write a uh, pressure gauge difference and that will be negative as you are moving upwards so minus times of uh, that elevation difference is your 150 so you can write point 15 and the liquid is mercury then you will be a specific weight of mercury and now once you are moving from c to a uh, elevation change is 0.1 meter and there's water so you will write gamma w and that will make you to reach the position of a now you need to figure out the pv minus pa so let's uh, uh, rearrange this equation that will be pb minus pa is equal to is equal to this will come out to be uh, on this side so it will be 0.15 gamma h g and uh, uh, this value will be uh, minus 0 0.15 gamma w so you can straight forward write that 0.15 h so, so pb minus pa pb minus pa is equal to 0.15 multiplied by we can directly write the specific weight term so uh, pb minus pa is equal to 0.15 in bracket uh, a specific density of this gamma is 13.55 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 in order to make it a specific weight and then minus 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 9.81 so pb minus pa can be written as uh, we need to just uh, simplify the expression which is written over there this is 0.15 multiplied by 12.5 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 9.81 and uh, this comes out to be uh, PB minus PA this calculation gives you the value of 
फोर सिक्स सेवन पॉइंट थ्री पास्कल Uh, so let's uh, let's take one another more problem for the uh, inclined manometer. So what it actually says that the pipes at A and B contain oil and inclined tube manometer is filled with oil and mercury, and determine the pressure difference between the A and B and take the uh, density of I mean uh, density of this uh, oil as well as the density of uh, mercury is given to you. So before proceeding to this particular problem, we need to figure it out the elevation difference. between the uh, two points for this inclined uh, manometer uh, so in this problem we have to figure out the difference between the pressure at level a and vessel p so uh, pa minus pb has to be figured out so let's start with any location let's start with the uh, location b so uh, if you can see uh, if we draw a horizontal line at from point b it will intersect this point and let's say this point is P dash. Now, uh, next point where this uh, fluid are uh, two different fluids are getting an interference. Let's say this point is C, and if we draw another horizontal line from this location, we can reach this location. This location is given as C dash. Now moving upwards, a point where these two different liquids are meeting. This point we can figure it out and write it as a D. Now, so uh, once we will be moving from B to B dash, both uh, at both locations, uh, fluid is same, as well as both are in the same horizontal level. So we need not to consider the uh, pressure change. However, once we'll move to B to C, pressure gauge will be changed again. Once we are moving from uh, C to C dash, again the same liquid is over there, and both are in the same horizontal plane so we need not to uh, take care of any gauge pressure changes now once we are proceeding from the location c to d c to d this is the location where we need to figure out the difference in the elevation at this one so before proceeding this one uh, we should first of all figure out what is the elevation difference between uh, c dash and d so let's draw a vertical line from point d and this means at this location so this angle is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree this will also be 60 degree so uh, distance between the uh, elevation difference between this one is unknown to us however we can figure out from the uh, dimensions given in this figure so if you can see this distance is coming out to be 200 only this is height and length is unknown to us so we need not to take care of this thing and uh, once we are moving from uh, d to a so the elevation changes this one so here if you can see the 200 is the uh, length along the inclined manometer however the elevation difference is uh we have to figure out from the inclined location so this angle is 60 degrees can be written as uh, 200 mm multiplied by this angle is 60 degree so this will be sin 60 so uh, from using uh, these two elevation changes we can quickly figure out what are the elevation changes moving from point c dash to d we have a elevation change of 200 mm this value is there and once we are moving from this location to this location this value is coming out to be 200 multiplied by the sin 60 once all the elevations are known to you you can proceed for the uh, simple manometer rule uh, let's start with this one so starting from the point b so pressure at uh, point b we can write it as a pb and that is your uh, pressure at b dash so we need not to take care of this thing once we are moving from uh, b dash to point uh, c b dash to point c we have a uh, change in the gauge pressure and that, that gauge pressure is positive and we can write directly uh, this length is 200 mm so we can write 0.2 multiplied by uh, density of this particular liquid so this liquid is uh, oil 
so we can write the gamma of oil once we are moving from c to c dash c to c dash we need not to take any change in the gauge pressure because the pressure at c and c dash both locations are same so uh, uh, let's move from point c dash to d so elevation change is 200 mm and this is a negative gauge pressure so we can write 0.2 multiplied by this fluid is your uh, mercury now once you are moving from point uh, d to a so uh, gauge pressure is negative and that length is your 0.2 multiplied by sine 60 degree and multiplied by the density of material i mean uh, unit weight of the uh, specific weight you can say uh, unit weight of this one is coming out to be gamma naught and that's how we'll reach to the pressure a now we have to figure out the difference in the uh, pb minus pa so we can directly write pb minus pa is equal to just need to rearrange this equation and that will give you the 0 0.2 gamma hg plus 0 0.2 sine 60 degree multiplied by uh, gamma naught and minus 0 0.2 gamma fo now we need to replace all these values and we can quickly do this thing so this is coming out to be pb minus pa that is So just putting all the values this is 0.2 multiplied gamma g is 13550 multiplied by 9.81 plus 0.2 and sine 60 is 866 sorry multiplied by gamma o that is given to you that is 920 multiplied by 9.81 and minus 0 0.2 multiplied by 920 multiplied by 9.81 so once we solve this thing this will give you a value let's do this thing so just taking out the common values uh, that is uh, g outside of this all the bracket this will give you uh, this uh, particular expression and then again solving this one this will give you 2632.5 so we can state forward uh, write it as 26.3 kPa so this is your uh, answer which is the pressure change between the point A and point B uh, let's take one more problem so here again an inclined manometer is given to uh, us and uh, what it says is that determine the difference in the pressure Pa minus Pb between the centers A and B of the closed pipes and which are filled with the kerosene and the mercury is inclined to manometer has been shown the uh, level so here this is your uh, mercury and this is your kerosene and the uh, specific uh, density which is uh, uh, this is 13.55 for the uh, mercury as well as for the kerosene it is 0.82 uh, so in this problem we have to find out the pressure difference between location a and b that is pa minus pb so before proceeding to this thing we have to again uh, figure out the elevation changes at different location so once we are moving from point a uh, to c there is no problem we can easily figure out the elevation change however once we are moving from c to the point d we are occurring a situation such that so we need to draw a horizontal line from point c such that it's intersect the inclined manometer at location c dash now uh, once we are moving from c to d again inclined manometer is there and then c to uh, then d to e so uh, let's first of all figure out the uh, elevation changes so uh, the elevation changes one we require at this location that is your c dash d ac is 400 mm okay and your uh, c dash d is 300 mm as this one is your 100 mm so we can directly write it at point 0.3 meter now 
in this case of uh, once we are moving from point D to B, the elevation changes 100 mm which is already given to us. Uh, let's solve it with the manometer rule and starting from position A. So pressure at A is PA and once we are coming down the uh, location of uh, A to C, we are having a pressure gain in changes 0.4 meter multiplied by uh, a specific weight or uh, specific uh, density of the kerosene uh, then we can multiply by the uh, thousand multiplied by 9.81 okay now once we are moving from c to c dash uh, there is no pressure change they, they, as they are in the same horizontal level moving from uh, c dash to d the elevation change is 0.3 meter however the gauge pressure will decrease so we need to write uh, 0 0.3 multiplied and this liquid is mercury so uh, this will be written as s h g multiplied by 1000 9.81 and then we are moving from D to B again a decrease in the pressure is happening so we can write minus and this difference is 0 0.1 multiplied by SK and then multiplied by the 1000 multiplied by 9.81 and this will give you a pressure of B so this is equation 1 let's rearrange the equation 1 in order to get the PA minus PB so this is PA minus PB and other terms will go on the other side and we can take out the common term from each term that is 1000 multiplied by 9.81 and in the bracket this will be uh, 0.3 times of SHG that is 13.55 then plus 0.1 SK is 0.82 and then minus 0.4 multiplied by sk so minus 0.4 multiplied by sk that is 0.82 so this will give you pa minus pb is equal to this calculations comes out to be 37464.39 that is pascal so uh, we can write it as a 37 point just rounding of the uh, one decimal point kpa so this is your final answer so uh, uh, in the sum up of this all the uh, discussion we have uh, done we can do is that uh, in case of the inclined manometer the only thing is that instead of going along the manometer we have to figure out the uh, change in the elevation level at two different points whether they are inclined or vertical the uh, values of the angle and the length of the manometer is given to you and we have to figure out the ele elevation changes between the two desired points so uh, now uh, let's conclude this topic with this the note that whenever this kind of manometer is being used this will be uh, more applicable whenever the pressure change between the two location is very low However, uh, we have to take care of this point that uh, uh, inclination from the horizontal should not be uh, less than 5 degree otherwise the, it will be very hard for uh, us to differentiate between the two meniscus uh, level in the uh, manometer.